I just joined the Austrade show for one day uh, because the uh, life sciences is an area that, of course, science is very interested in. But my primary uh, objective on this trip has been both undergraduate and postgraduate education. So we've been talking to four schools in Delhi, Chandigarh, uh, Bangalore, and here in Mumbai. And I'm also now joining uh, another roadshow the next week, or the current, the current week, um, for postgraduate education. It's, I, it was very, very interesting. Uh, the company we visited this morning um, is very advanced in uh, certain areas of uh, drug de de delivery and also in running clinical trials and basically getting the inventions that at the moment uh, in Australia get to effectively the end of the bench but don't quite get to the bedside and, and they actually seem to be very good, very expert at that transition uh, from, you know, yeah, from what, what we can generate into uh, a clinical reality. And I think a lot has to do with both uh, cultural um, awareness and ability to take the, the steps and make the necessary investments, but also in terms of the size of the available market. So India has a substantially bigger market than Australia, uh, and I think that makes it, it more easy for Australia to collaborate with India and make uh, the, the necessary jumps that uh, are going to be required, uh, and then actually make some of our inventions reality. I mean, we concentrated basically in uh, areas around uh, cancer research, but also around imaging, uh, diabetes, so uh, areas that are of, of disease that are, uh, are becoming pro very prevalent in the, in the West, especially in Australia and the US. Uh, and that will still be the case for, for quite a while. So I, I, I would think that that's where we, we're heading, and possibly India might also be to some extent inheriting some of these Western chronic disease problems. Uh, and so the collaboration, I think, is very important for both countries.